Hi, welcome back to our taxation series. I am going to give you a very interesting idea to save taxes because in India we pay a lot of taxes but there are legitimate ways to save taxes by having two PAN cards. Yes, you heard that right. So as per the Income Tax Act, you cannot have two PAN cards. It is completely illegal to have two PAN cards in India and in that case you will be fined to the tune of rupees 10,000. So how can you have two PAN cards when it is illegal in India? The answer to this is by creating a Hindu undivided family or an HUF and the provisions of uh, having an HUF are provided under the Income Tax Act 1961. So under the Hindu law, HUF is a family which consists of members linearly descended from a common ancestor and includes their wives and unmarried daughters. So in an HUF, there is a Karta who is the head of the family and there are other members who are called the co partners So the residential status of the Hindu undivided family depends on where the HUF is managed from. In case if the HUF is managed in India, even though the Karta is resident abroad, he is a non-resident, but it is managed wholly in India, then the residential status of the Hindu undivided family becomes a resident and not a non-resident. A Hindu undivided family is taxed separately from that of its members and it will get deductions under Chapter 6A. Say, for example, ATC, ATD, medical health insurance, life insurance and any um, contributions that you make towards donations, all the de deductions that are available for uh, individual will also be allowed for a Hindu undivided family as well under the separate PAN card. So now let us understand the tax concept with the help of an example. Say Mr. X receives or inherits a property after the demise of his father. He had no siblings so he receives the entire property from his father after his death. So he decides to create an HUF along with his wife and uh, his two children. So he becomes the Karta and the other members become the co partners So as this is a common property that he has inherited from his father, it is a common asset of the, or the property of the HUF in this case. And he receives a rent of rupees 7.5 lakhs. Along with that, he also has his own income or a salary income that he receives which is taxed under his PAN, say rupees 20 lakh. So in this case, he has a salary of 20 lakh rupees and in addition to that, 7.5 lakhs is the rent. In case if he does not have an HUF, this 7.5 lakh rupees gets clubbed with his salary income which is 27.5 lakhs. After considering all the deductions and the standard deductions that we have, then in that case, he will be taxed at the rate, taxed at the rate of 30% and his income tax will come to 5 lakh 53,000 rupees. Whereas in case if he has an HUF, then the deduction then the deduction that he can get away here will also be available under the HUF as well. That 7.5 lakh will be taxed under the HUF and not under him so that his tax burden will be reduced. So because of the formation of the HUF, only his salary income will be taxed under his PAN card and he has to pay a tax of around 3 lakh 90,000 rupees. Whereas HUF he will be HUF will be taxed only this uh, the rental part that is 7 lakh 50,000 rupees and only the tax comes to around 7,000 rupees because you have to file separate income tax return for the HUF. So see how much amount that he can save by creating a HUF for the common property. So not only the rental income, if there are any other income, say shares, mutual funds or anything else that can be pulled together and that can be introduced as the capital of the HUF. So not everybody can form a Hindu undivided family, but only Hindus, Jains, Buddhists and Sikhs can have a HUF. So once a HUF is formed, it must be formally registered in its name. It must have a separate PAN card. It must have a formally registered deed with its business that is clearly listed and also the names of all the members. It needs to have a separate bank account. In case if it has a DMAT account, then it should be, it should be having a separate DMAT account in the name of the HUF itself and not that of any individual. So now this is the income tax aspect, but what are the disadvantages or the legal aspects of having or creating an HUF. The first disadvantage that we can see is that equal right to all the members. So in case if there is any uh, birth uh, to in the family, then he or she will be added to the HUF family and everybody gets equal share in the common property. The next disadvantage is 
partition so in india there are lot of disputes already relating to partition so uh, since this is a common property if any of the one of the members ask for partition then it has to go for partition and unless the concurrence of all the members are there for partition then again there is a big trouble and it can lead to a lot of troubles on the way for the huf now what happens on the demise of the karta that is the eldest or the male member of the family in that case the eldest male member of the family will be taking over as the karta even though his wife or the female member is alive so friends this is a short video on how you can create a huf and uh, you can reduce your tax burden by having a separate pan card for huf and then if there is a common property then the common income that uh, comes from that property will be taxed under the hf and you can reduce your tax burden thank you very much for watching this video in case if you have any doubts please feel free to comment below and i will be answering them thank you very much and please feel free to subscribe my channel and uh, interesting videos are on the way on taxation finance and many more interesting topics thank you